This video will demonstrate how to measure the upper extremity using the mark and measure method. The video will cover three areas, basic measuring procedure, measuring requirements for style variations, and a few common options and features. Section one is the basic measuring procedure. Record each measurement on the BioConcepts upper extremity measurement chart. Refer to the measuring manual for an explanation of the shorthand notation system for measurements recorded in inches. Measurements in centimeters are welcome. Simply record in decimal notation. It is critical to know the measurements you need before you start measuring. Inadvertently measuring too far up the arm above the axilla is a common problem that results in sleeves that are too long. Here is an easy procedure to make sure you do start at the axilla. Have the patient hold the arm out a bit, then tuck a sheet of paper into the axilla. Wrap the paper around the arm and make a mark at the top of the paper on the lateral arm. Measure from the wrist end up, but don't go past this mark, or measure from the mark down. When measuring for upper extremity garments, it is important that the patients have their arms relaxed at their sides in a neutral position. Use BioConcepts retractable tape for circumference measurements, and remember, never pull the tapes snugly. You can start these measurements from the wrist and work up, or from the axilla and work down. Be sure to circle wrist or axilla on the measurement chart so we will know which end of the arm is at the top. For a half or partial length sleeve, simply begin where you want the sleeve to begin and end the measurements where you want the sleeve to end. In this example, we'll start from the wrist, measuring the circumference of the wrist. From there, make a mark on the patient with a pen every one and a half inches from where the sleeve will begin to where the sleeve will end. Use the retractable tape measure or wide tape measure to measure the circumference of the arm at each mark. Recording the measurements on the BioConcepts upper extremity measurement chart. If the measurements go over the elbow, make a specific mark for the elbow, either at one of the arm circumferences or between two circumferences. Very often, the last mark will not be one and a half inches from the second to last mark. Measure the actual distance between the last two marks and record it on the chart. Section two of the video covers measuring requirements for style variations. The purpose of a shoulder flap is to hold up a sleeve. It is not to provide therapeutic pressure to the torso. When measuring for a shoulder flap, the arm circumference is full length or shorter as needed, and capital A, the circumference around the shoulder at the axilla, capital B, the circumference of the torso at the axilla for both males and females, and capital C, the circumference of the neck, are required. For a 10A, a regular male shoulder flap, the default feature is a zipper closure. For a 10A regular female shoulder flap, the default feature is a Velcro closure. For a 10B, a male shoulder flap strap, 10C, a female shoulder flap strap, and 10D, child shoulder flap strap, the default feature is an adjustable belt. Section three of the video covers a few common options and features. Here are a few of our most commonly ordered garment styles and features. Keep in mind, we have many, many more options and features of every style of garment. Consult the measuring manual for more information. This number one sleeve axilla to elbow with number 10B shoulder flap strap for an adult male has an adjustable strap around the torso and the foam piece protects the skin from the strap itself. It helps keep the sleeve in place. This female shoulder flap with sleeve to axilla pressure garment is shown here with an optional anterior elbow insert to prevent the irritation that can occur with bunching of the fabric in the elbow crease. This sleeve to axilla has a female shoulder flap, an adjustable Velcro and expansion panel extending down the side of the shoulder flap. If these or any other options are desired, they must be specified on the measurement chart. <laughs>